in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to find the derivative of trigonometric functions in our previous video i talked about finding the derivatives of algebraic functions and in that video i made us to understand some of the basic terms that we would always come across when finding derivatives by first principle so how do we solve how do we find the derivatives how do we differentiate trigonometric functions by first principle so we're also going to use the method of increment the increment notation that is by increasing the variables by a little change if y is increased if there is a little change in y y is increased a little change in y we also cause a change in x so there will also be there would also be an increase in x x plus change in x so from here to get rid of this y we we have to subtract y from both sides so we have y plus change in y minus y equals sine 2x plus change in x minus y y minus y is 0 so we have change in y equals to sine 2x plus change in x minus sine 2x so from here since we are looking for change in y over change in x we are looking for the derivative y over dx um, we are going to use this trigonometric identity that says that sine a minus b sine a minus sine b not sine a minus b sine a minus sine b is equals to 2 cos a plus b over 2 multiplied by sine a minus b over 2 so this multiplication sign here can be replaced with a dot whatsoever so applying this trigonometric identity here we would have change in y is equal to so our a is going to be 2 x plus 2 change in x if we open the bracket and our b is equal to is going to be 2 x so sine a minus sine b would be 2 cos a plus b a is 2 x plus 2 change in x plus b our b is 2 x over 2 multiplied by sine a minus b a is 2x plus 2 change in x minus 2x over 2 so if we should simplify this we would have change in y is equal to 2 cos four x plus two change in x over two multiplied by sine two x minus two x is zero so this cancels out two change in x over two simplifying for the we have change in y 
is equal to 2 cot 4x over 2 that will be 2x plus 2 change of x over 2 that will be um, change in x multiplied by 2 change in x over 2 sine change in x so now let's get change in y over change in x change in y over change in x would be equal to 2 cos 2x plus change in x 2x plus change in x multiplied by sine change in x over change in x so we can also write this in this way change in y over change in x is equal to 2 cos 2x plus change in x multiplied by sine change in x over change in x this form is still the same as this ok I want you to notice that as x approaches 0 the limit of sine x over x is 1 so the limit of sine x over x is 1 as x approaches 0 the limit of sine 2a over 2a is 1 as 2a approaches 0 the limit of sine 5z over 5z is 1 as um, 5z approaches 0 so the same also applies here so if we are to get our dy over dx we are going to take the limit of changing y over changing x so dy over dx is equal to limit of changing y over changing x as changing x approaches 0 which is equal to 2 cos 2x plus change in x is approaching 0 so we change it here to 0 multiplied by the limit of sine change in x over change in x change in x and change in x are the same so time change in x over change in x is 1 so we have one here. So dy over dx is equal two cos two x. So the derivative of sine two x is two cos two x. So you can apply this to whatever trigonometrical function you want to differentiate so you should use the method of increment so i hope you learned something from this video don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video